Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here. I just drive pods, and as many of you guys know, I got my iPad this morning, um, and I am loving this baby so far. Uh, this iPad so far does everything. Everything runs fast. Everything looks great. The colors, everything jumps out. It's bright. It's amazing. It's awesome. Now, this video is just going to be a quick walkthrough, uh, almost tutorial kind of video for you guys. Now, the case, if you guys are wondering, I did purchase this. I have the unboxing, which I also recorded at the Apple Store when I recorded uh, the unboxing of my iPad itself. And I'll throw that up a little bit later. But now I'm just going to go over a couple of the hardware and a quick little walkthrough of the iPad. Now, up here on the top of the iPad, you have your headphone jack and you also have the microphone. Yes, the iPad has a built-in microphone, so you can use apps like Shaz Shazam or Talking Carl. Uh, pretty funny applications. Uh, you have your power on and off switch along with your sleep. Go ahead and press that to do either of the two. Uh, on the side here, you have a lock switch. And once you lock this switch, what it does is it locks the uh, rotation of the screen. So it will not rotate when you have that locked. So we'll go ahead and unlock it. And you guys see now the screen will freely rotate. Very cool. Uh, you also have your volume rockers here on the side, which work very nicely. They also give you a distinct click when you're using them, so you know that you're pressing them in. Down here at the bottom, you have your speakers, which are kind of covered um, by the case that's on here right now, but they are right here. Uh, and you also have your 30-pin connector right down there at the bottom, your dock. Um, now, that's basically that's all about the iPod, uh, iPad. I'm going to be calling that a lot, I bet. Uh, on the back, it just says 16 gigabyte. It has the black Apple logo. It's silver. You guys saw it in the unboxing video. If not, definitely go and check it out. Uh, here's the lock screen right here. Just a picture I took. I set it there. Uh, you can slide to unlock. It also has a little shortcut button there on the uh, next to lock, which is pretty cool. And let's just go over some simple things. Let's go into Safari. Safari loads very fast. Loads much faster than the iPhone, even though I don't have one, but I know it does. Loads much faster than the iPod Touch. Now, this, you guys know the iPad doesn't have Flash, but there are a lot of websites that are running HTML5 and other things like that that will allow you to do it. Um, right here, I have up Mets.com, and you guys can see a video would be there, a Flash, but there is no video. But I'm going to go ahead and, oh, on this, you can go back forward. You can look at other pages you have open. You can bookmark a page. You can look at your bookmarks. Or you could add a new one right there. Uh, you can type in what you want to search for right up here. See if we can exit that out. Uh, you have Google right up here. You can search something in there. And if you click that button right there, it'll bring up all different um, all different uh, web pages that you can open or have open. And you are available up to nine different slots. You guys can see I'll turn it landscape here. You're available up to nine different slots. Uh, so I'll just run over to Apple's website and go to click that. Look how fast it just loads. That is awesome. Um, and I don't know if my flip minnow is doing this video, if doing this iPad justice, but this is so crisp and so clear. It looks like I'm looking at this on my HD TV or on my iMac or something. It's so freaking clear. Uh, um, let me scroll up and down through the website. Let's go ahead and jump onto CNN. Uh, CNN's going to load a little bit slower because it has a lot more content to load. But you guys can see here, there's even an ad right there on CNN's website at long last Apple fans get their hands on the new iPads. Uh, maybe we'll show up there. Who knows? But CNN runs, uh, excuse me, CNN, Safari on the iPad runs flawlessly, it runs really great, and so far, I haven't run into any problems. Uh, calendar, you guys get that. Contacts, looks very nice. Um, the new contacts application opens up like a book if you have it in landscape. You can put it into portrait, and it's also uh, like that. We'll go ahead and put it back into landscape. You can add a contact uh, right down here. Pretty simple. And you can have a photo, their numbers, their house, their address, all that kind of stuff. And you can actually scroll through it like in a real book uh, or a real contact book. In your notes application, uh, some people are worrying that, all right, I can see, but I won't be able to get comfortable typing. I can see how it can be done, but I won't really be able to get comfortable typing on the iPad. Well, if you guys go ahead and just take a quick look right here, it's not that hard. Your thumbs, my thumbs can touch. They reach all the way across. They even reach past each other typing this. And it's very simple to type. You could type in, hey, what's up, YouTube. Very simple. Just like that. It's a lot easier than you may think. And if you turn into landscape, boom, it gets even easier. You get a much larger keyboard. The keys are much larger. And it's much easier to type if you have this uh, case from Apple. You can tuck in uh, the back, right back there. And then you could just sit it down like this. And you can go ahead and type away all day long just like that. Uh, I'll go ahead and raise the volume up here so you guys can hear the clicks. 
Very nice. On the side here, it will list all your notes. You can scroll through all your notes. Uh, if you have different notes, you can add a new one. See, so we'll add a new one. And you guys see a new one appeared right there. So the notes application runs really well. Um, one little thing you can't do, some people are thinking that you could just write right on the notepad. You can't do that. You have to get a different application for that. But uh, not a biggie to me. Uh, maps looks really great. You can pinch, zoom in and out. The map takes up, takes up the whole screen. Looks great. Uh, a couple changes to the YouTube application. Go ahead and load this up. Um, we're going to Featured. And you guys can see that comes up in like a block format, kind of like uh, in uh, some of the iTunes libraries. It uh, brings up all the featured videos. You can go into the top rated videos, uh, most viewed, favorites, subscriptions, my videos, and history if you have it in the landscape. Uh, turn it back into portrait, just a little bit smaller. Um, but I do prefer looking at this and using iPod in uh, iPad. See, I'm going to be calling it iPod a lot. Uh, you can look at it in um, landscape and it looks even better. It all around, let me see if I can, my videos. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the iPad unboxing. Now, you guys see it takes up the whole screen. Boom. Check that out. This is from this morning. You can double tap, make it take up the whole entire screen. Put it back, and this video quality looks so great. You can zoom ahead, do what you want. It looks really nice. You guys see right there, I'm using my iPad. Works great. This is an awesome YouTube um, player on this new iPad. You can click done. It'll bring you up right to this little section right here. You'll see other related videos, more from me or from the person, and that you can also check out the comments on this, um, on the video. You can scroll through all the comments and look at the description of the video. Very nice. Uh, we'll go back. Uh, not many changes done to the iTunes store built into the iPad. Um, just pretty simple movies, music, TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks, and so on. Uh, the layout's a little bit different. It does look really cool. You guys can see that. It comes up with like, uh, I'll try to hold it up here. It comes up with like this little silver background on all the uh, app stores and, and uh, iTunes store. It looks pretty cool. Go home. Um, settings. There's a lot of new settings with this iPad. And as you jailbreak users know that you could only change your background if you were to jailbreak your iPod in the past. Well, now with the iPad, you could change your background to whatever you want. Your lock screen background, yes. Also, you could change your background background, if that makes sense to you guys. You don't have to worry about having the black background with nothing there, or the desert landscape that was on the uh, that comes like preloaded on the iPad. You can have it to whatever you have, um, or to whatever you want. You can choose from the variety that they give you, or you can choose from your photo albums and uh, scroll through those and set one. It's very simple. Go back, and you can change the brightness right here. Very cool. I keep it all the way up at all times. Uh, notifications, Wi-Fi. You can also have uh, iPad go into picture frame mode, where it will be a digital picture frame, which, which will scroll through all your photos and whatnot. And uh, you can just set it up somewhere, and it'll look really cool. In general, you have um, just the usual amount of things. You have sounds, network, Bluetooth, location services, auto lock, restrictions, all the usual stuff. Mail and contacts, pretty much the same. Safari. Uh, basically the same. Everything else basically the same. Um, there's not much changed in those simple ones. Um, something else I want to uh, show you guys. The iPod now looks a lot more like your iTunes. It looks um, more realistic than just that little uh, on the iPod touch, that little screen. Now you have the full screen that can show a bunch of songs at once. And it's going to remind you exactly like your iTunes library. And you're going to know where to go easier. You're going to know what to do easier. Now this does work in landscape or portrait. Kind of looks like a list in portrait, but in landscape, it looks a little bit more smoothed out and spread out, which I like. Um, you can go ahead and scroll through all your songs. You can scroll through all your playlists. Uh, when you play music, it actually shows up in a cool screen um, with the album artwork. And then if you tap it, the album artwork sh uh, goes a little bit dim and the music comes up, the timing of the music. You can fast forward, rewind, play, uh, description if you have any lyrics will pop up. Obviously, I can't show you guys music uh, for copyright reasons, but you could go by songs, artists, albums, genres, and composers. Go back home. Um, what else? We can show you guys the App Store. The App Store looks really cool with this uh, new iPad. You can go ahead and Featured. It'll show you all the hottest iPad applications that are available for your purchasing. I've already purchased a few of my own. Um, you guys can see here the layout has changed a little bit. Go to What's Hot. See if I can get that to go. Um, the layout has changed. You can go into see all. You can look at all different kinds of applications. In the top charts, it'll come up with two columns. Uh, if you turn it to portrait, let's even get that to go. There we go. It just shows you a lot more. And as you guys can see, um, so far I've installed Pages, Keynote, iBooks. I've installed a lot of things um, so far on my iPad, and they're all running great. 
Uh, there are a lot of applications available for your iPod right now. There's about, I think someone said there's around 100 of them. Uh, I've downloaded maybe about three or four, and they're all working wonderful. The only thing I don't really like is that the iPod applications, they run in a small little screen on the, on the iPad, but I'll cover that in another video. Uh, we got Pages and Keynote, another video, iBooks, ABC Player on my home screen. Um, in your photos, something else I want to let you guys in on. If you go ahead and go into your photos, in the albums, what you could do is you could just pinch. It'll show you a quick little screenshot of all the photos. Well, I guess technically it would be a photo of all your photos, but you can pinch and zoom them right here just to mess around. You can move them around to see wherever you want to see them. Then you can bring them back to normal and place them back there, and then you could just have it go back to normal, or you could open pinch and open them up. You can go to one, and you could scroll through them just like this. These are my photos I took, just some of them. And you can look at them either in portrait or landscape. Other, way, uh, other ways you could do it is you could just take down here at the bottom, and you can scroll through all of them really, really fast. But that's really cool. You could add them. You could put them into a slideshow. See if I can uh, get the slideshow to work for you guys. You can have play music. Yes, no. You can have the designs, everything like that. Um, I'm just going to shut music off. I'm going to put it into Ripple Start Slideshow. And it's just as easy as that. Uh, the slideshow will start playing. It'll go through your photos. It'll look just like a picture frame, um, a digital picture frame. But it's a digital picture frame that can do a lot more. So we're just going to go home. And this is just a quick rundown of the iPad, what it looks like, some of the features. And uh, I'll go over more in depth on other applications and things later. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Favorite, comment, or subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the iPad, whether it be negative or positive. And if you have one, post a video response of you using it or something like that. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Sorry I was talking so fast. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.